So how does the Senate spend five years, $40 million, you know, 6,000 pages of which we've been able to read 500 and get it all wrong? How does that happen? So, you know, I, I talk about this a little bit in the book. One of the things I learned as an intelligence analyst early on is it's very dangerous to speculate. When you speculate, you get things wrong a lot more than you get things right, right? But I'm, I'll speculate for you, okay, with that caveat. So I think there's two things going on. One is Senator Feinstein made it very clear to everyone who would talk to her about this that she wanted the report to be the nail in the coffin of the country ever doing anything like this again. Well, when you're on her staff and you hear that day after day after day and your job is to put this report together, it takes you in a certain direction. It absolutely takes you in a certain direction. I think that created a bias right, in which those staffers did their job. That's one thing. I think the other thing is, remember what I said about both Democrat and Republican leaders in the House and the Senate approving this program back in 2002, 2003, 2004. Not only approved the program, but encouraged us to go even further, telling us that their constituents would expect us to do even more to protect them, um, telling us that they thought we were risk averse when we stopped the program for a period of time, when Director Tenet stopped the program for a period of time, when the legal landscape changed to make sure that we were still completely legal, right? Telling us we were risk averse. That was a Democratic senator, right? So what's the only way that they can, they can get themselves out of this discussion? to say that the CIA lied to them at the time about what we were doing and about the effectiveness of the program. That's the only way to get themselves off the hook. Okay. I can't prove any of that. Right. That's, I'm speculating. Mm -hmm. Very important for your mm -hmm. viewers to know I'm speculating here.